My name is Dr. Mushairi. I'm the neurologist at Jamaica Hospital. Today we'll be talking about frontotemporal dementia. Uh, it's important that we provide this information for a couple of reasons. One is that this is a less common type of dementia, so there is a sp sparse information for the family and affected patients. Uh, in addition, there is a strong behavioral disturbance component to the disease, which uh, increases the, the disease burden and the social burden of, uh, of frontotemporal dementia. Also, it involves patients at typically younger age than other more common types of dementia. So it affects a growing family and productivity and it multiplies the disease burden. The uh, frontotemporal dementia is diagnosed typically by a combination of clinical exam history and imaging. The patient presentations is often by behavioral disturbances, meaning that it would s start changing and doing things that is out of the character for them. Uh, they would lose their um, empathy. They would do uh, socially inappropriate uh, actions or say things that uh, are considered to be rude they will f see as f uh, f cold and distant, uh, unable to provide empathy for um, others' emotions. They would have difficulty controlling their impulses, typically with the eating. Uh, they would have issues with the stopping eating or putting, they will be putting uh, things in their mouth um, frequently. They could also have problems with uh, language. Um, so once the diagnosis is made, and typically there is a lag uh, because of insidious onset in onset of symptoms and the diagnosis, then there are a couple of important points to know. One is that present time, unfortunately, there is no treatment that can change disease course or stop it from progressing. Although there are research going on, but that's where we are at the moment. This does not mean that um, there is no help out there. There are medication that can help, especially with uh, behavioral issues, to lessen their symptoms and the burden on the patient and the family.